Okay, so we're playing Big Bad Wolves, and um, I missed recording my first match. Uh, I thought it was recording. It was not. Um, you didn't miss a whole lot. What I did, I made a new deck, and I put in uh, mostly bills, and just one single little minute... Leela and one Stewie and that's in hopes um, of ideally getting more power with the bills instead of all these heals with the Leela's which this case I'm actually gonna go with the Leela just to start heals it's my only one and I put in one Stewie just for our gas um, what I also did was move over from the dodos to um, these horse fuckers because what Big Bad Wolves has been doing is really fucking everyone in the ass uh, using a bunch of cripple alls. Um, so this is going to be a great score, but it works. Um, so they've been using a lot of cripple alls, so the dodo is not helping me there. Um, I figured the Joes with the motivate would be more useful. Um, so if I can come out quick, um, get the bills out, and then motivate myself, get the extra punches, hopefully be okay. Um, but the first match uh, did not go well, um, I'll say nonetheless. Uh, Mr. Warhol, the leader of Big Bad Wolves, fucked me up. Um, I actually had all characters in one PC to open. And then I had all characters uh, in one PC the next draw. I just kept drawing a PC. So I, I put three PCs out. Um, and then I finally got an item for the four slot. But honestly, by that point, it was done. Uh, so Big Warhol just destroyed me. So I already have one loss. But sorry, Warhol. He's a good guy. I wish I could have showed him that, but... You fucked me up, buddy. Alright, Jay Jones. So this Leela sure is showing up quite a bit for being the only Leela. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and prepare for another bill item. Just in case he came, if he did. And then on the outside, I can get this Leela in. Just to keep things really healed. Because once you get... Uh, two of those bills, you have a good amount of punch going on, a good amount of attack. Um, you're in a pretty good situation if you can open up with the two bills without getting flanked on the outside. Hopey boss. Man, again. Okay. Well, this time, I at least have optional characters. That first match, I think I had all bills. Oh boy. So I'm gonna go with the bill here to try to punch out that slot one. And I'm also gonna go with the bill here because I really need these extra punches right now. And what I can do on the outside is maybe use Leela to try to get some of these points back. And hopefully, I don't punch a line too deep here. And I can get all the heals in. It's possible the punches go wrong. E okay, I'm still going to get the heal in, so that's good. Will it be enough? Not enough. 98? Cool. Let's see. Fuggin', fuggin'. Oh man, again. I swear, guys, whoever's on top gets like really good RNG. It used to be Wog, now it's now it's Big Bad Wolf. Maybe it just seems that way, but it really feels like it sometimes. 
So I gotta go P-Bill here. I really wanted a Lenore. That's why I played Bill first. Man, and I'll punch through, but... Ugh, I really need that Lenore. Which it no longer matters. Thanks, Kong. But at this point, it no longer matters. So I'm just going with the uh, HP boost. Get like a 93. 87, damn. That's worse than I thought. As being optimistic with 93. I was notebooking that shit and trying to will it. Um, C. Dizzle. Alright, so I'm going to open him up with the bill just in case uh, for some reason I wanted P. Bill, which I really don't. I'm going to try to open up with a double Lenore now. Eek, that's really bad. Oh, okay, so here's the situation. All right, I could definitely put the extra 16. That brings him to 46, plus that bomb. That punch is definitely going there, right? So that's going to be 88 or something. And then you're definitely going to get these with another 896. It's going to bring him down to like 30-something. Is it going to kill him the next turn? I think so. Let's try it. And then hopefully I can just get the heal here. Now I could really use a Lilo right there, but that's cool. Uh, not great. Not great. So the thing with taking out the Lilo is uh, a lot less heal. So like a situation like that, if I could have gotten a Lila at the end, that's probably like 95 plus. But I'm not going to fuck around with it. Jesus, again. Alright, hopefully I get the item on this draw. Oh, why you do this to me, Kong? Okay, well. Better than nothing. Is she using Jean... Is that a fucking... What the fuck is that combo called? Two-butt goat? That's just a gene on crack? Don't, don't use gene, badger girl. You're better than that. Okay, so still no combos. We're just gonna build up HP at this point. It doesn't matter. I can't heal anyways. But we'll go with the HP. And um, I guess I'll get the one heal in, which actually might be enough here. Well, there you go. Um, I got unlucky. But at the same time, I got very lucky. Silly f zombie. Alright, this time no characters. Hopefully I get one here. That's good. I'm gonna go with Lenore, but not waste my heal all item. Pop in Lenore. That's fine in this position. That's better than comboing those first two. We'll get another Lenore. This is actually being really kind to me so far with RNG, all things considered. Pop in another Lenore. And we'll just HP boost. So yeah, I couldn't combo at first, but it, I drew the combo. Um, this is always funny when people are like, oh no, I didn't get the combo, but they get it right afterwards and they have a PC. It's not that bad. Not that bad of a situation. What's bad is when you don't have the combo, then you draw and you don't have the combo, then you draw and you don't have the combo, and you draw. Or like if you get all characters and then you don't get the combo, you're just fucked. So again... No combo. I might be setting a record. I, I got the combo here, so it won't be so bad. Um, it's definitely not ideal versus the Saint, because he's going to have all Dodos, and I really needed to get uh, that Lenore out immediately, to be quite frank. Because um, now what I have to do is build him right here and take some damage, right? And sprawl it out. Oh, and it dies. So in this case, 
not getting the combo immediately really fucking bad so i i lost here i mean there's no nothing i could do oh boy but you know what it's not as bad as not getting the combo ever but versus a dodo sprawl like that you have to combo right away immediately and start punching those guys and killing them oh boy so um that was really bad luck uh so that kind of stuff does make me feel like Kong gives like an RNG advantage to the top tier guild and that's not to be salty or anything uh, it just seems like we used to get that with walkers of Gilmore and then once they're not number one we play walkers now and it's normal it's the same as Kong or S&M art or sweet walkers or whatever um, and then before that like King of American Burger guy it always felt that way so, I mean, I could just be tripping. It might be the situation where the decks are so good that you can't recover. Like that last one, that Dodo PC Sprawl. It's just so mean that not getting the perfect hand, you can't recover. Whereas, you know, other guilds, you don't get the perfect hand, but you recover, right? Or like um, when I played Badger Girl there, I didn't get the perfect hand right away, but it was fine. But versus the Saints, it was not fine. So it might just be the fact that there's more players like the Saint in Big Bad Wolves than other people. So you recognize the bad uh, RNG. I don't know, man. I am not sure the things in this game, whether it's box pulls or, or the cards are actually random by all means. Um, but anyways, uh, we will drop down here. And I'm not sure how far we'll drop. Um, S and MR didn't drop too far either. So there's a good chance that next round, um, number nine will play somebody. Maybe we'll, I don't know. I'll need to check with somebody. Um, but if this is the case, maybe Kong a few and S and M smart play. And then we play like the winner of Asteria, uh, Life After Death, something like that. Maybe last round we get SNM art. I'm not really quite sure, but we'll see.